So we've made a lot of changes to the statements with version 15. We haven't even seen it yet. So. <laughs> In version 15, you can build a remainder statement out that lists out the missed copays that the patient has so that you can go collect on those before the insurance pays. So we are very excited about that in that it will let you, okay, go ahead, clap. <laughs> that will let you increase your cash flow, lower the days of AR, and um, in these financial times, you need to be able to maximize your cash flow rather than let that go out there and fester until the patient decides to come in and pay it on their own. Let me show you exactly what that looks like. I'm going to require a copay on my office visit. And let's go into Dwight again real quick. And he has some copays overdue. Let's do a new one for today. 99213. He has a $20 copay. When we save that, I would expect the copay overdue to end up going up to 60, which it just did. Let me make sure that my program option is turned on so that I don't have a moment where it doesn't work. We have an option to add copays to remainder statements. If for some reason you don't like money and don't want to collect from your patients, you can turn that off. <laughs> and what you'll notice is that I now have some remainder statements that have been created here. Let me print those out. And we have a copayment remainder. Hopefully you can see this. Now I know that this, well actually this is pretty accurate. If Dwight again would have been in on March 9th, 2007, March 19th, 2009, or April 2nd and missed copays on all of those, he's going to have line items billing him for that on his statements as they go out. How are statements sorted, the transactions on them? They're sorted by document number on an individual statement. The statements sort the transactions by document number. How many of you know what that means? Two people know what it means. So if you're sending statements out to your patients and you don't know how they're ordered and you don't know how they mean, how do you get to explain it to them? Is it easy? With version 15, we're changing that. If we go in to print our remainder statements in version 15, you're now going to see a new data selection question that lets you specify how the transactions are sorting. And we left document up there for those of you who have actually figured it out and are using it, because we don't want to take anything away from you. But you can now say, I want all of the transactions to sort by data service or I want them to sort by the entry. And you can specify that for each statement. So now you can get your statements to line up the way that you want, that your patients want. And what's the purpose of this? What, why do we care about getting statements more readable? So you get paid. What else don't you want to happen? You don't want them to call for this reason. The, the whole purpose of our repurposing on the statements is that we want to decrease the amount of phone calls that you're getting from your patients having to explain this is what this is this is where this is this is where this is this is why you have to pay yes you do have to pay why do you do you care what the remainder balance is on a statement yes yes if you're using this as a collection tool, you don't want to have to sit there and go and look through each statement and try to find where the balances are. You really want to be able to see them right up front. Well, with version 15, we have given you 
the ability to see right in statement management the remainder balance for all the statements that are there. <laughs> statement management now becomes a more powerful collection tool for you to go after those patients proactively. Okay, the next one I'm going to go over fairly quickly. Um, how many of you have used small balance write-off? What do you use it for? Writing off small balances. <laughs> There's another purpose that you could use this for. If we had it integrated more tightly with statement management, that would be to send patients to collections. When you send somebody to collections, you usually write off their balance because you're not going to be collecting that AR. You're going to get a percentage of it from the collection agency, and you don't want to send them any more statements. So what we've done with version 15 is gone into our small balance write-off, and we will now let you write off balances based on the submission count from statement management. So you can say, I want to write off all of my statements that have been sent five times, meaning they haven't paid for five months, get that report, use that to send your AR over to the collection agency, and uh, start collecting from these patients who aren't paying. So um, we're taking a feature that already exists in small balance write-off and increasing the power of it by integrating it with statement management.